<laughs> hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, America. Good morning, America. Top of the morning. I just wanted to um, tap in with, with you today and um, to speak on the deceptions that, that goes on. You have a brother by the name of uh, Twitch Boss. Um, I can't recall his first name, but they call him Twitch. And for a grown man to be called Twitch, man, I'm sure at a certain particular time, he could have went and decided to, uh, somebody could have helped him out. Because it's either one or two things. You have a quick twitch, like for football, motor skills, or you got a twitch. And most fathers, and I, and I believe some of our sons could, could uh, confirm this, you know, when they were kids and walking and skipping and, you know, all of this stuff, prancing, you know, we would tell them, listen, no, 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 no. You need to, you know, your walk says a lot about you. You know, we, we don't twitch, okay? We walk, okay? And I remember my son as a young lad getting out the car. I remember he took two steps and then he thought about the conversation he had with his father and then he put his backpack on and started strolling. And I was like, yeah, that's my boy, right? So man, now we fast forward to where we are right now and you really take the man out and you 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 talk down on the man. You don't want the man to, you know, you take us away from our race and you put us in the ethnicity. You, you clump us in with the, you know, the LGTQ. And I didn't mention B because B stands for black and we gonna debate that topic because we gonna take that B back because we don't know what the B truly stands for but now we are at a time where we see that if we don't support our culture and our race like all the other cultures and races then we will be erased literally because you have a brother in a prime of his life appears to be happy he's doing a lot of dancing and you know in the day before and all of this stuff that was going on but what concerns me is the fact that they always, you know, when they go suicide and, and, and they always talk about mental illness, it's not mental illness. It's not mental illness. It's identity crisis. Because when you have black men that have literally abandoned their race to embrace an ethnicity that's indoctrinated into, um, you know, sex and trans and gay and lesbian, a uh, 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 queer, transgender, all of these things will give you an identity crisis. Because when Tyler Perry spoke on what he spoke on, it hit me 100%. Tyler Perry said it was a time when he was, you know, in his career, he was, he was suicidal. He said he was suicidal and he was, you know, thinking about killing himself because if he wasn't successful. And now from a psychologist perspective, you can understand, or I personally can understand why Tyler Perry would be suicidal. If you're building your career off of being a woman and you're a big guy, a 6'3", six, 6'4", six, alpha male appearance guy, and then your whole career is predicated on you with a fictitious character named Madeer, and you're a woman and transforming a woman and getting into the woman and all that, and then you realize that you might not be successful, then you might become suicidal because you realize that you was played and that you were tricked into being trans. But since, you know, you became successful, you're starting to, you know, reveal and, you know, and do things differently because you got an opportunity to fix it. But some people don't get those opportunities and some people get stuck right in the midst of. And this is when things happen. Because if you look at, your, at, at the brother Twitch, he went to a hotel. He took an Uber to, his, to the hotel. Okay. He took the Uber to the hotel, right? So you took an Uber to the hotel. A matter of fact, it was just a, a motel, like a sleazy moat, you know, in a U shape. And uh, you you put your phone on airplane mode. Um, it so that sounds like cheating. You a married man and you go to a hotel, you put your phone on airplane mode. So you pretty much doing something or you got a secret. So at this point in time, you know, from an investigative perspective, we want to know what happened at that point because everything appears to be the same and everything appears to be normal prior 
to this particular incident because if he would have showed up at home, we would have never known this. But for some strange reason, there was a appearance of suicide with a firearm. So he shot himself in the head or somebody shot him in the head. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it's not mental illness, it's guilt. What was he doing in that motel? What information did they have on him? Okay, and the reason we are learning and understanding because normal non-celebrities and normal people like myself, you know, have had uh, cyber attacks and have had things attack, you know, my devices and, you know, temptation and all of these things. You know, I've actually turned my phone off and pulled out my memory card because I don't want to be surveillance like that. But what happened with this brother? And I guarantee you it's something that he did that he didn't want to live with anymore. A married, successful, happy man with a family left his house, didn't want to go home to his wife, didn't want to live for his wife, didn't want to live for his family, didn't want to do it for the team. And this is why, you know, when we talk about faith, you know, we do this for God. And then when you do it for God, you're not responsible. You're responsible for God's body. This is the temple. So we are responsible for what we put in our body, what we do to our body. And all of this can change as soon as you decide to make a decision that you want to get right with God. And usually when you want to get right is when they push the line on you and then say like you went and killed yourself. We don't know. He could have been had a, a mistress. He could have been a, a same sex relationship. You know, when you're dealing in Hollywood, you got to do some strange things. We don't know what's going on, but for TMZ to come out and just say mental illness and all of these things, is like smoke screens to get us to not look at the truth. Because from an investigative perspective, you don't sit back and just wait and, 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 and for a, a press release and just run with it. No, you investigate the case everybody's a suspect the wife is a suspect what's going on we need to find out but when we rush to judgment and we put things out too fast this is what we call a cover up this is what we call a cover up so why is tmz covering up the depth of twitch why why we can't keep it 100 because we want people to continue to suffer and go through what he went through to be extorted you know, uh, uh, to get to a point of suicidal and then to push you over the ledge to kill yourself and then come back and say it was mental illness. No, this has to stop. And like I said, and this is why we're moving away from um, our ethnicity and getting back to race. Because if we talk about race, suicide is out of the question because our ancestors in this nation has been put through more things than any other race, creed or culture ever. This is why we got to go back to being black. And this is why we got to take care of our communities. And this is why we got to do what, what our forefathers or our ancestors couldn't do because our ancestors continue to get played. And I'm asking you this question, which one of our ancestors did they not persecute? Now wait for that one. So with that being said, we got to get back to blackness, you know, um, rest in peace, Twitch. We don't know, you know, but we're going to sit back and, you know, uh, do the private investigations and try to come up with the truth because we know about Shavadot, this just does not smell right. And anybody that's rolling with it is in denial of themselves because like I said, this is a was a successful man. But when you look at his family and you look at what's going on from Birmingham, Alabama, now you married to a white woman, you got biracial children, you in a community, you know, that's just free love that will do anything, you know, and, and we're just sitting back like wondering like, wow, what happened? So now we have to, you know, separate ourselves we have to become one and that's one as a as a people and it doesn't matter about your sexual disposition or your choices or however you was born but at the end of the day our race trumps any of that because if our if it wasn't about race before we wouldn't be here today to talk about reparations in california and to be seeking this class action lawsuit a lawsuit against america as a people so stay tuned and 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 uh you know god bless my brother Sorry for what happened, but uh, we want your story to come out because it's not mental illness, it's guilt. Because if you look at Van Jones, after Van Jones got his money and after the Black Lives Matters, he got a divorce because you know he wasn't black anymore.
So now we getting back to our blackness and this is how we close the chapters on race in America. Getting back to our black. We're not, you know, it's not our ethnicity. It's not our, you know, um, African American or none of that. No, 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 no. We're breaking it back down to race. There's only three races on the planet and the master race created them all. And we all know who that master race is. And, it, and, and that master race is black, okay? So we're gonna figure this thing out and we're gonna do it out of love because God is love. And with that being said, have a great day. God bless and rest in peace. And uh, let's start talking about, you know, um, not the mental illness aspect of it, but the mental guilt of living lies. Because when you live a lie, which is a sin and the wages of sin equals death. And then they can say you did it yourself and everybody believe it. So have a great day. God is love. And I love you all. Peace out.